Okay then, so today you join me at the Clifton Hotel. This was formerly a migrant hotel, but it's currently been fully refurbished. Let's go and have a look, see what it's like. So I have checked in already, guys. Let's go. So I've just been in, put my bag in. But this is what you get tonight. 39 quid guys for a double room. I did see it at 32 for a single. Oh, I thought, why not? Wow, what a room this is. This is fully refurbished. So we've got new carpet, new bed, new furniture, new everything. Really good. All furniture's matching. A couple of bedside tables, got new lamps. I'll tell you what, this is really nice. For the money I paid, should be great. Don't know why though, we've got towels on the bed for some reason. Oh well, it is what it is. Let's have a look what we've got in this wardrobe. So I reckon I'm the first person to stay in this room. We've got a brand new iron, a brand new air dryer, all in the box still. We've got a, um, a throw, but it's still got the, the wrapping on. So look at that. <laughs> Literally brand spanking new. Brand new radiator fan, pillows in a bag. Yeah, it's got it all this guys. Oh, brand new. This is nice, isn't it? Right, we've even got a little bit of a mini fridge here. It's actually got freezer compartments in it as well. And then, of course, the flat screen TV. And then there is no bag stand, but there is this little table and chairs. So I'm just going to use that tonight. The old fashioned keys here. Oh well. Right, that's what else do we get? So the hairdryer is not in these drawers, it's in that box already. And we've got tea, coffee. What have we got? Twinings tea this time. Milk and sugar. Nice cups there. I like them to be facing the other way around, but I think these are brand new, so I'm not gonna say anything about that one. Is the kettle clean tonight though? Let's have a look. And yes it is, it's sparkling. So, we've got a USB charging as well next to the desk, which is pretty much next to the bed, so I'm gonna be using that tonight. Really good, isn't it? Nice lamp there. And then, not a bad room this, is it? Really big high ceilings. Well, I've stayed in many Britannias now, and normally the older hotels, you don't have lights in them on the, the roof, you just get bedside lamps, but this one does. Right then, so on to the bathroom. You're gonna be shocked, guys. Not expecting this at all. Look at this. So we've got a massive shower, walk-in shower, and a brand new toilet setup. So this is, everything's new, completely new. New floor, new walls, everything. Brilliant, isn't it? So straight away, I can see we've got complimentary soap. Little soaps here. Everything's laid out nice. Really good. They've got like a big sh shaving mirror here and this, this light here. There's actually USB on these. If you ever get stuck you can use them. And then a massive walk-in shower. I don't even think this has been used before. This is ridiculously big. So there's four, you can get four or five people in this. It's massive. Wow. Right, so I'm gonna check the pressure, see if there is any. So yeah, this just moves out of the way like that. There's loads of pressure. <laughs> you know, it's straight to temperature as well, so this is beautiful. You just move it the other way and it moves around to this one. Right, I'm gonna turn that off because I'm gonna get wet otherwise. But, absolutely brilliant. So the whole hotel's been refurbished, guys. Really nice. So if you know Scarby, you'll know this hotel has been housing uh, migrants for the past couple of years. And when it comes to the end of the contract, you actually get paid to refurbish them. And this is what you're seeing here, guys. So, yeah, <laughs> I'm happy. Really nice place, isn't it? So I've just had an amazing shower. I've been in there for about 20 minutes. It is so powerful. So good. 
So if you're not subscribed already, guys, please do me that massive favor. Hit that subscribe button below. Right then, so let's go and have a look around it. Got to show you this lift. So this is the oldest lift I've ever been in. Look at this over here. Nice little seating area. Views out to sea. Nice, isn't it? So, real old school lift. She's <laughs> got to remember to shut it when you get out. But it's smooth. It's, you can tell it's old. Oh, look at this. Got holes around the top there. You don't see them like that anymore. I think you would get a wheelchair in here. Just. Oh well. Nice, isn't it? All new chairs and tables. Oh, what space. So now it's been refurbished, this place is so nice, really good. So normally when you're looking around hotels like this, all the corridors, they always smell musty. But not the case here. Really fresh and really... They've got scent boosters, I think they are. Really nice. They've even redone the toilets. This has had a full refurb. So I know I keep saying it's had a full refurb, but I'm just shocked at how well they've done it. It's really nice, isn't it? Everywhere throughout the hotel has been redone. So I have been talking to the staff, uh, asking what, it, what the scaffolding is about, and this place is actually having a full new roof on it. So I just thought I'd come and have a, a walk around. Um, yeah, it is not a bad hotel now. Bloody big property though. There's certainly worse places to uh, stay than I, isn't there? We've got sea life in the distance over there. I've had to mute the audio on this one guys to copyright issues music playing in the background but as you can see all the way around fully refurbished really nice job yeah, not a bad little place is it I'm sure this will be absolutely even soon with the coach parties and whatnot do a great job So I've decided I'll come back down at night and show you what it's like at night. 
Um, really nice mood lighting. It looks good. All the tables got little candle effects on them. You know, this would be a nice hotel when it's uh, fully open. So this cabinet here is telling you a bit of history about the hotel. About past guests and whatever else. There's absolutely no one in this place at the minute. I think I'm um, like one of the uh, only guests. There's probably about 20 people total. Right, so I've come outside. I've come for a bit of a wander around. I want to show you now. It's a bit quieter. What the location's like. So, it's right next door to a closed down hotel. Just over there. But don't let that worry you. Because this place... It's all brand new, absolutely everything. As you can see in the video, there's nothing wrong with it. And the views here are amazing. So earlier on in the day, this was absolutely heaving. Really, really busy, but now, a bit later at night, I just thought I'd show you. Look at the views here, guys. So, if you like what you see here, don't forget to hit subscribe. These videos are self-funded, so it really helped me out if you did. So, there's plenty of free parking along this road here. Now, what you've got to do, you've got to ask a reception for a clock. Which is, I don't know if you can see, there's one in this car here. Um, you get a clock and you actually get two hours free parking. <coughs> so, essentially, after three o'clock, it's free. So, it's free then until nine o'clock the next day or 12 o'clock on a Sunday morning. So you could stay here on a, a Saturday night. If you came at three o'clock, you could park up on here, use your clock and stay until 12 o'clock the next day, all for free. Or you've got a car park on site. There's about 25 spaces and you can actually reserve them. Uh, it's eight pound per day. So eight pound a day. So sort of scaffolding all over this place at the minute. And they're actually redoing the roof completely. So four floors currently closed while they're doing it. Oh, it's such a nice building. It's a great central location. So if you stuck for something to do while you're here, there's actually a cinema just behind the hotel. A nostalgic cinema. It's like 1950s style. Nothing's changed. It's amazing. So, next day now, guys, you know what? I slept brilliantly. It's a completely new bed. That quilt's really comfy and really thick. This is nothing like any of the other Britannias I've stayed at. Just completely new hotel, essentially. And this walking shower, rainfall shower at that. You know what? It's really good, really modern. And just what you would expect from a new hotel. So let me know in the comments below, guys, would you stay here? And what do you think of it? I booked this direct this time. So I did see it on Vio.com and Agoda for a single room at 32. I will include that now. So here's the proof, guys. This was the price on the app. So I just want to add as well, all the staff that I've met here are actually really friendly and really nice. Um, so no issues at all with this place. The restaurant isn't open at the minute, but it will be shortly. This is like a soft opening. It's only been open a couple of days. So yeah, really good, really happy with this place. So let me know in the comments below what you think. And if you've not subscribed already, please do so. Until the next one.